Today's Express is dedicated to Canada's favorite game. On today's show, what is your shoe size? 15. Roberto Luongo, Trevor Linden, and one, or is that two, of their biggest fans? Well, you have to root for the Canucks unquestionably. We love the game, and it's in your blood. A team with a true lifelong love of the game. In those days, I was playing 30 and over. Now I'm playing 75 and over. Contracts galore, registration like crazy. Behind the scenes at Center Ice Arena. It's very busy. In Australia, it wasn't the best hockey, but it was still, it was a lot of fun being over there. Hockey dreams down under. I think everybody dreams of playing some sort of pro hockey. It's part of our culture. Welcome to the Express. I'm Joe Hannaward in Vancouver. We are a town of Canucks fans, but the truth is I've never really been that into sports. And that might be quite the understatement right there. Okay, so this is the year all that's going to change. I want to be a Canucks fan. And to do that, I know I'm going to need some help. In the city of Vancouver, it's not hard to find Canucks fans. They are everywhere. Lucky for me, one of the team's biggest fans can be found at the Shaw Tower. Okay, stop by in three, two. Ken Kaniko, a behind the scenes guy on Urban Rush. Am I a little shiny? I'm just gonna just turn. Okay, sorry, the, the air conditioning's a little cold. I just need to, um, just need to. Okay, that's better. Sorry, the, the lights are really, really warm. I'm just gonna. Okay, what was the question? Not the easiest interview. Well, for me, it's all about. Oh, sorry, one second. I just gotta answer this thing. Hello. However, once we got settled in, this looks very like sports desk, like news sports desky. Hey, the two seat here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you, that would make you. I'd be Don Cherry if I had a high collar. Okay, and I'm Ron McLean. I really felt the sports vibes rubbing off. I got his name right. <laughs> After how many takes? I know. Ken gave me a crash course on what to ask for my upcoming interviews with two hockey superstars, who are also recent inductees to the BC Sports Hall of Fame. Well, what question should I not ask them? Don't ask them why they don't play well sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems mean. I would never ask that. As for what to ask, I opened up the conversation to my Facebook friends. And boy, did you guys give me some good ones. You ask tough questions. You... What's the question that you wish interviewers would ask you that they never do? What's my shoe size? Oh, what is your shoe size? 15. Oh, wow. Hmm. Bet you didn't know that. Or this. If you were going to be the interviewer and you could interview any NHL player from the past that was during their prime, who would you want to talk to and why? Uh, probably Grant Fuhrer uh, because he was my idol uh, growing up. Thanks for that one, Jason. I used it twice. I gotta say Bobby Orr. Not everything you wanted to know was about the game of hockey. Christy Wright wants to know if you've ever tried stand-up paddleboarding yoga. Whoa, stand-up paddleboard yoga. yoga. No, I have enough trouble staying on the stand-up paddleboard, and I have enough trouble doing yoga on the floor, so probably wouldn't be a good mix for me. Challenge out there. Okay, uh, the ladies from my class want to know if you're coming to Dance Fit. Oh, yeah, Dance Fit. I like Dance Fit, yeah. A question universal to sports fans and fans of the game of life, advice from the Hall of Famers. Just don't listen to what anybody says. If that's your dream, just work every day that you can, as hard as you can, and uh, to achieve that goal. I think I've realized more since I've retired when I've seen people who are successful in various fields that, um, you know, it's all about hard work, right? It's all about determination, hard work, and... Uh, going the extra mile? Going the extra mile. Like I'm doing right now. Can we yes. show this? Can yes. you just give us a little yes. pan down? Yes. This is impressive stuff right here. You must have trained hard for this. Yeah. We have this exact uh, exercise in our club. Yeah, it's going to be the new workout. The question we didn't ask, but one that's on everyone's mind, is this the year for the Cup? Our annual uh, uh, chance every summer is wait till next year. So. <laughs> okay, this is the year, you guys. Yeah. I'm, and I'm with you. This is the year. I'm with you. Okay. I feel like we should high five or something. <laughs> sporty. 
Preseason is underway. The regular season starts on Thursday, October the 6th. It's a home game, the Canucks versus the Penguins. And yeah, you bet I'll be watching. Congratulations also to all of the 2011 BC Sports Hall of Fame inductees. You know, hockey really is a lifelong sport for the fans and also for the players. Up next, we're going to meet a team of hockey players who've been playing Canada's game for over 70 years. This is old-timers hockey at its best. What these guys lack in speed, they make up for in personality. Well, this is just a ramshackle bunch of folks that love, love hockey. We don't really have a practice. What you see today is about what it is. They just go out and have fun. I'm 77 now. Going on 78. 81 and a half. I play well, three or four times a week now, so it's a lot of hockey. <laughs> it feels great. This is, this is what it's all about. Hockey is a way of life for these guys, but they admit they didn't think they'd be playing it well into their 70s. Never. Never. Not in my life. Well, I organized this back in 1956. We started playing hockey at the Burnaby Winter Club. In those days, I was playing 30 and over. Now I'm playing 75 and over. Did you think in 56 that you'd still be playing? I didn't think I'd be alive. You don't have to be done at, I don't think, at any age. The oldest guy is probably 88, and some of the older boys are still pretty good. The team is always looking for more players of a certain age. Yeah. We have another group that's 50 and over. We don't really want anything younger than that. You have to keep your head up, because the odd time we get bumped into one another, but not intentionally. We can't afford to play rough at our rate because we don't heal that quick anymore. <laughs> Despite broken sticks and broken bones, the guys say they have no plans of retiring. It does keep you young. It really does. And we, we love the game. And it's in your blood. This is where you want to die. If you're going to die, you want to die on the ice. <laughs> I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Burnaby for The Express. The guys on the team recently hosted the third annual 75 plus and 80 plus hockey tournament at the Burnaby Winter Club. And you know what, there are tournaments like that all over North America that attract players well into their 90s. You're watching The Express and we're going behind the scenes with the game of hockey up next. After the break, Zamboni magic in Abbotsford. There's something about that Zamboni that everyone loves. In Australia it wasn't the best hockey, but it was still, it was a lot of fun being over there. Hockey dreams down under. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.